Electoral fraud allegations continue in Ekiti State after the elections. And you're a traitor, Ohanezi, and a Fanny Fair tells a color. Well, this is Cross Politics. I'm Mary Anako. As the first elections to be held in the wake of some key reforms introduced following the passing of the Electoral Act of 2022 into law, last Saturday's governorship election in a kitty state uh, was another important milestone in many respects. Amidst vote-buying reports trailing the Akiti State governorship election, the All-Progressive Congress-led state government have been accused of masterminding the arrest and abduction of key members of um, the party hours before the governorship election. Now, also, some weeks before the election, the candidates of the Action People's Party, APP Prince Adenka Ali, revealed that the party is poised to win the elections to change the fortunes of the state in the interest of the youth and women. Well, tonight we'll be discussing with the gubernatorial candidate of the APP and his stance on the alleged electoral fraud in a kitty state. It's good to have you join us. Thank you very much for having me. Um, so you're not the first who's been making these allegations of fraud um, as a result of the elections that held over the weekend last week. Um, but yesterday I spoke with a representative of the SDP and he continued to harp on the fact that the APC and the PDP were involved in vote buying. But the case is different from other political parties. But paint us a picture of what you experienced on Saturday that has made you conclude that there was um, electoral fraud. Oh, God, of course. I directly was involved in this as a gubernatorial candidate myself. And, um, you know, the old scenario started early in the morning when youngsters in my community in Itaqua came to me and they were asking if naturally I would want to buy votes. And that came to me like a rude shock, like, why will I want to buy votes? And why is this even coming directly from my own community? Why is that, where is that coming from? And they had to advise that there's money already available everywhere. 10,000, 7,000, and 3,000. And in that regard, somebody is asking me to come and buy votes. And I tell them, I will not do that. I am a youth. I still have a long way to go. If I've come, during the course of the, um, the campaign, I was called over for negotiations. And I said, no, I would not step down for whatever reason. I am a youth. I believe in what we can do. I've seen other manifestos, and I see that nothing, none of them is coming close. So for, for whatever reason, I will not step down, and I will not even merge with any party. So for young guys to be coming over and be telling me if i'm not ready to buy vote then i should be ready to stand with whatever result at that point <laughs> i was destabilized sort of like if my immediate community will be saying this then what do i expect in other places so you know i delayed a little and i i watched the time like till i didn't i didn't go early i wait till like around 10 there about before going to the polling booth. When I got to the polling unit, I, of course, they gave me the preference to come vote and so that I can leave immediately. I said, no, I would rather stay in the queue. I stayed in the queue. I saw some of those agents they were uncomfortable. You know, they were moving left, right, and center. Everybody destabilized, seeing me right there in the queue. And I stood there. And before you know it, they just, somebody just damn it, like, man, he's not giving us money. So, and that's how they started the trade. And I was there. So you're watching. telling me that you saw monies exchange hands while you were queuing to cast your vote? Uh, uh, okay, well, maybe the physical money was not displayed, but you see the negotiation and, um, and the way it's done. This one, they call it see and buy. What does that mean? You know, okay. Originally, it had to be, um, they call it um, Dibo Kosebe. 
that is, okay, vote and get a pot of soup. That's the original. But this particular one, they call it see and buy. See and buy is, you know, you vote and you will have a way of displaying it for the agent to see. They will see that you actually printed on their ballot space. But INEC has uh, had succinctly said that that would not happen in, uh, at the polling units. So mm. there was no enforcement of that rule by INEC? Mm, well, you, you know, we gave INEC a lot of credits for this election because there is serious improvement. But then, you know, there I see some lapses. Uh, the, the boots, the polling boots now that is used here, maybe originally the advice one was supposed to be somewhat hidden. Where they drop it is a bit, supposed to be a bit hidden. Though hidden but still open. But in this regards now, it's still very open that they can still show people. They show people. And, you know, it's like there's a kind of connivance. You see police will say, cover it, cover it, cover it. Even why police is saying covering it, you know, is that is not enough around to say you you are canceling that particular person's vote. But then it's like everybody knows about this thing. They display it and you see the way the thing moves. There's a way some they have tally, they call it tally. They give them tally, and you know, it moves hands. Okay, this person has done it, and it goes and it goes and it goes till when you start seeing them giving money. I saw when they give money. You know, but it's not going to be the very first person. The move, move, about the third, fourth person. They give money. I was there watching. I stood there for over one hour. And I saw this, this whole thing happen. And then, and my view is like, let me, let me, let me put, let me, let me talk about other issues uh, aside from, this vote buying is very important. But um, the ADC governorship candidate, um, yesterday I also put that question to the SDP um, representative, had accused not just the APC and the PDP, but also the SDP of engaging in vote buying, not just at the state level, but at local levels. And then she mentioned something that really, really um, stood out for me. She said, despite the number of events that were put together and talks on voter education, whether it be on the media, whether it be in marketplaces, um, we still saw that level of vote buying and election fraud. So it makes me really wonder if all of you, the gubernatorial candidates, did your job. And if the AKT people are really tired of bad governance. I mean, because if you are tired of something that's bad, you'd obviously work against it. But we're seeing that it's a reputation of what's always been. So should we be blaming INEC or shouldn't we be blaming you and, of course, the electorate? Wait, I need to say this. Prior to the main election, you see the kind of countenance, you see the kind of boldness in me that I was definitely going to win that election. How and, so? And that is because... What the, is the structure of the APP in Ekiti State? What's your reach? What's your coverage? How were you going to win this election? The election, yeah. As opposed we, to an incumbent APC, a former governor, Shegoni, and of course you do have the People's Democratic Party who, who has also held that office. So did you really stand a chance? Yo, okay, like I said, in the main sense of it, people are tired of this particular government. So that is a serious head for us. They are tired. Ask one or two persons on the street. They will tell you they are seriously tired of them. Okay, now, coming in as a youth, I have beautiful programs. I was able to sell it to people. A lot of people saw what I was carrying, and they bought 10. They love it. I went around the old local government, and I spoke to people. We did a lot of orientation reorientation about not selling votes and not buying votes and what we stand to benefit, what they stand to benefit if they elect a youth that can actually bring about the total transformation strategically in Nikiti State. And you see that a lot of people are so enthusiastic about it and they wanted Prince Adi Nkali of Action People's so why Party. didn't they vote for you or any other person? without taking the monies, as you have accused them of, vote buying or rather inducements during this election. That if is, you were so certain 
Why are we seeing people still cowering back to the government that you refer to that as is one that they the, do not that want is where, anymore? That is where the problem is. That is where the problem is. That is why this election should be cancelled. They've made people vote against their wish. Because... You, I'm sorry, did, 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 was it at gunpoint? When you say they made people vote against their wish, this is it. If, you, if I have, and I'm not in any way making a case for Ekiti people, but I'm saying if I do not want something, no matter what you give to me, I'm not going to take it. Mm. But if I am um, induced at the slightest thing, then maybe I'm okay or comfortable with that thing. I'm not speaking for Ekiti people, but I'm just wondering. I, because with all the pointers, this, you're the second person who's talking about the same issue. Nat naturally, you can talk like that. You're comfortable. You need to go to Ekiti. What makes you think I'm comfortable? Yeah, of, you, you're looking beautiful like this. Go to Ekiti. There is hunger in the land. Even the farming, they can't even go to farm again. There is serious hunger in the land. Now, it, is it deliberate for the government to starve people and still want to induce them, buy them over with their common wealth now? Is it deliberate? Okay, fine. Maybe before now, before now, we can say people buy votes. They buy votes, maybe a day before the election, and they see that during the course of the election, people can still go ahead and vote their own choices. But in this regard, they call it see and buy. Money was brought to election ground. And this is serious, it's a serious one. If this is not check, if this is not check, then it's to say to the world that Nigeria is actually on sales. Hmm. Talking about um, things being stopped, um, EFCC operatives were uh, reported to have arrested a PDP member for inducing, um, you know, voters. Apparently, the, this was um, in Olaolua Muslim Secondary School in Adoikiti um, during the elections in itself. Um, reports had it that the party chieftain was arrested uh, with a large sum of money. So there's some credit there going to the EFCC. There was also a report about uh, an NSCDC official who was um, alleged to have also involved in some electoral malpractice, even though the NSCDC has come out to rebuff that and say that that's uh, not a true report and uh, that their personnel would not be engaged in this. Uh, but other than that, do you, what do you think needs to be done to tighten security around the uh, polling units? Because uh, a lot of us would have looked at uh, the Akiti elections as a litmus test for what should come uh, for Austrian states and, of course, the general elections next year. But um, can we really say that um, there's anything to look forward to if we're seeing a repetition, again, like I said, of electoral malpractices? I, I would still want to say that the best way to check this, the best way to check this is to cancel this particular election and have a rerun. Because as it stands now, a lot of billions have gone into this. It is poor. Do you have proof that billions have gone into this if this were to be taken to a court? Because, of course, you have please, to take please. to a, court, Just, a, co a competent court of jurisdiction. To, you have to make a case that, beyond reasonable doubt, that these elections have to be cancelled. Do you have enough proof to fight this in court uh, and get the, uh, the Electoral Commission to revisit this election? You, you are in the media. You know what I'm talking about. Go online. A lot of evidence is out there. A lot of evidence is out there. This Will is these not... evidences that are out there be admissible in court? That's another thing. <sighs> Wait, some people are actually arrested. And it's enough. I'm saying, ask every other person that partook in this election. I am a living witness. It happened. It's just that, okay, fine. I need to be a law-abiding person by keeping my phone. I was supposed to be recording. I saw what was happening. It happened within, before my own very high. I saw this happening. And ask every other candidate too. They will tell you their own different experiences. In some other quarters, you have it that even security operatives are the one giving signs. Anytime a security operative looks to the side, it means that person didn't vote for them. Meaning they wouldn't have to pay. Anytime, at another time, if it nudges, oh, then it means that, okay, that person actually voted for them. So, look at all this. We can't say this is a free and fair election. No, it is not. It is not. INEC truly, of course, we know INEC, they have just, they have evolved over the period. And with what they have done, this is the only thing that is mine, their, their, their improvement. And if it is not checked now, 
you know, the best thing to do is cancel this election, have a rerun. Now they have spent a lot of money. There is no how they will get, Ekiti don't have much money. And they have spent over 5 billion era for this. So now, if there's going to be a rerun, then let them go and source for money. Let every, and it tighten up. Everybody will be on lookout. They can, they, if they want to buy votes, let them buy a day before. Not right there at the at So the you're ground. encouraging vote buying, but not on the day of the election. No, I'm saying that. I'm saying that. Of course, people know that. Okay, fine. You want to bring money to them? Bring money to them. They will take the money and they will still vote their conscience. Of course, that one, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't accuse any, anybody of not voting for you. But this one, they call it see and buy. Are we pricing sweets or pepper? Something is actually wrong. And if it is not checked now, then what do we expect in 2023? This must be checked. And it must even be cancelled. Because if you wait until when we start going to tribunal, then it means someone would have been sworn in. Hmm. The best bet is cancel. Let's have a rerun. And then this, we cannot check this. You want to give money? Give money a day before. These are the kind of education we have given to people. We have actually talked about it. We are, I have told a lot of people. I told them, market people, the youth that actually want us to be, look at, I had 1,980 votes across the local government. These are people that stood their ground. Like, they will not take one naira from anybody. The expert that, they've seen the program that we have, they see that, this is going to bring serious transformation of the state. They saw the program. I've engaged a lot of people. Even youth, what we shall be doing. I will even want to take care of the retirees. Mm. But then, why are they keeping them in perpetual poverty just to buy their vote? Now, let's talk about the cancellation that you're asking for. If there be a cancellation, if there were to be a cancellation, if it comes down to it, how certain are you that you would win? Oh, definitely. I, I know I'm winning this election. How I'm so? so confident that if this election is to be tried... I'm sure that every candidate is very confident that they would win, but there has to be a winner I, and there has I, to be a loser. I, I, I have so seen, What, what I have, is on ground that uh, guarantees that winning? I, I, I'm a grassroots person. I'm a grassroots okay. person. And I've gone round. And with the kind of movement that we've got, we spoke to people. They understood this whole thing. And, you know, if I said, okay, you have... Clear 1,980 people that, that stood their ground. Meaning 10,000 and that does not matter to them. These are people that they saw it. But others that are hungry, they need to just bend and take this money. And if they had even gotten the money maybe a day before, I would, still, I would still say that. I would have still won the election. But you brought the money to election ground and say, see and buy. Uh, it, it's very ridiculous. For a country like Nigeria, giant of Africa, making caricature of herself out there. No, 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 no. This is not acceptable. It's not acceptable. Let us go back and let this be a level playing ground. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm forced to ask this question because it's one thing to say, oh, let's cancel the elections. Let's have a rerun. Um, I've had... I've spoken to so many people over the years who would say to you, who have great intentions to run for office, and when, they, when you have a talk with them, they say, well, you can't talk to an ordinary electorate without some form of gifting. They would say to you, well, we hear your ideas, they're amazing, but we're, we need something, give us something. So I'm wondering, is this because this is where we are as a people, this has eaten deep into the fabrics of our personality as a country or, or is it that maybe it's just because like you said the people are impoverished but if you're in poverty wouldn't you be looking for a better life other than a quick fix oh of course you, you know that's that's the same thing that we are talking about here people are in poverty they're hungry they need something to eat and with that anything that's available they want to take but we are saying that you can campaign you can lure people you can rule them with whatever you've got. People still have their mind. That's why we are human beings. That is why it is not, it is not, a, it's not cast in stone that, oh, once they, they spoke to you, you go out there to vote for them. So, whatever you want to do, 
do it before the election day. People still have their mind to go out there and say cut their votes for whoever they want. But in a situation whereby you bring it right there to the election ground, that is the problem here. The court is on see and buy. That is what I'm saying. Maybe you're not even getting it. They bring the money right there. And they're giving people money right there. And you say, we are having an election. Or we are pricing paper. Or sweet. That is no election. It is no election at all. Hmm. Uh, the key people obviously are watching you. And what message would you be giving to them that would you think would change their minds if there be an opportunity for a rerun? We get it. It is not that the kids people naturally will not want to vote for their own choice. They will want to vote their choice. But I'm saying there is hunger in the land. I and because you. of that, because of that now, there is an inducement right there to their face like this. Mm. You, they have choice. Vote for who you like or stay hungry and die. And they will, that, of course, is it, reasonable to want to get the money. What's but, your message to Ekiti people? Oh, we're, what we are saying now is Ekiti people, we are, they, of course, you see that there's no jubilation. Go right on, there on the street. There's no jubilation. People are not happy because they actually vote against their own wish. So now they are calling that. They don't even want this election. Let it be cancelled. Of course, they've gotten what they needed from them. But we are saying, cancel this election. Let's have it free and fair. And if it is like that, let us, let also everybody now be on ground to watch this, that, okay, no money will be, bring, will be brought to the election ground. And with that, with that, we are so sure that, okay, fine, Ekiti people will now vote their own choice. Okay. Please give Ekiti this chance. We, we, they, you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't make them go hungry or to buy them. Okay. Ekiti still remain a poor state. Okay. And Ekiti should not be poor. With all okay. what Ekiti is endowed with. Ekiti should not be poor. And they do this over the years. Please, this must stop. And Anne can help us by cancelling this election. They have spent the money. Of course, a lot of people benefited from it. But they are not still happy. Because they know, they know, they know it. You need to go to Ekiti and see what I'm talking about. Okay. Well, I want to say thank you. Um, uh, Prince Adeinka Ali is the gubernatorial candidate for the APP, and he was uh, part of the just concluded governorship elections in Ekiti State. It was so good to have you join us in this thank conversation. You very much. All right, that's it on this segment. We'll take a quick break, and when we return, we'll be talking about the running mate for the People's Democratic Party PDP. Governor Ifanyo Koa of uh, Delta State and what Ohanezi and Afenifer have to say about that. Stay with us.